Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this realistic cherries with color pencils. So let's get started. Friends, this is the outline which I have done for this drawing and I just skipped the outlining process because this is a very easy tutorial and this is a very easy drawing so you could do this outlines of your own. And as usual, you can find the link down below in the description for this picture and you can download the same picture and try it out. Friends, so I'm going to use this basic color pencils which can be available in almost every color pencil pack and so everyone can follow this tutorial very easily. As for the stem, I'm going to use yellow, light green, brown and black colors. Yellow is for the base layer which will give some more life to the stem instead of using a simple green color. Then for the contrast I'm going to use a black color and for the stem the point which is the tip of the stem I'm going to use brown color because it is in brown then I'm going to use a white pencil for blending it that's it friends this is the overall pencil which I'm going to use for this stem and after this we are now going to use that green color again green and yellow because in the picture the cherries doesn't have those colors friends for the fruit I'm just going to use red purple black and pink color you know why I'm using red and black color because the fruit is in red color and I'm going to draw the contrast part with black color but you can wonder why I'm using purple and pink color before saying this I just want to say another thing when I saw this picture at first I just think and I just thought how do they capture this picture and I think they might not capture this picture in the natural light rather they capture this picture on indoor with a sophisticated lighting setup maybe two or three lighting setup lighting yeah so what this picture have a lighting on the top and the bottom and the center part is completely invisible completely visible and it shows everything neatly in the center and top and the bottom have a lot of lighting and a lot of areas are white in color and pinkish purple in color I don't have the exact color pencil for the bottom so what I'm using three color pencils and blending it up and bringing out the exact color which and it has I hope it will be good to see and I hope I could bring out the color so as you can see I'm just leaving the space for the highlights before drawing itself because if you are a person who is doing highlights with a white gel pen you might be seen and you might be noticed the highlights are not good in finish and it could be messy if we see the picture in real if you see the drawing in real rather if you see the photograph it will be looks brilliant but it doesn't the matter in reality you can see friends I am using a black pencil black colored pencil for the contrast parts it is a good idea and it is a simple idea rather than choosing dark red or like that this is a bright red color which could be available in most of the color pencils and actually this color pencil or this red the name of the red color pencil is the deep scarlet red and we don't want to know these names actually we don't want to know these names at all Rather, if you have the good practice of using minimalistic supplies, you are the best person. But it doesn't mean using lot of color pencils are easy. It is very tough though you think. Then for the bottom part, as you can see, I'm just using a purple color pencil for the base layer and I'm going to layer it up with red color. This is somehow time consuming process than we done to the top layer because we want to bring out the exact color so we don't know how much brightness we want to give and how much 
pigments we want to give for the exact color so it is an experiment be sure you are patient friends you know i am posting tutorials weekly and in some weeks i am posting different type of videos hope you like it and friends i just want to make a huge decision on my art i have said this thing already in a video and that i have said how many color pencils do you need to draw your drawings your drawings your color pencil drawings and if you not had watched it the link is in description and you can find that video in our playlist and hope you find it friends that is a huge decision and it is very tough so what i'm taking this much time and i'll be giving the information and updates regarding that thing in upcoming videos or i'll be updating it on my instagram account so if you not yet followed me on instagram go and check out my profile as usual the link is in description friends then as for the drawing i'm going to complete this drawing right now you can see here the bottom part is going to be got over Now I'm going to draw the second cherry which is behind the first cherry. So the same and similar steps want to be followed for drawing that. You don't want to do any other things because it is in the same lighting and it is in the same place but it is behind the first cherry. So it is very easy and I'm just going to fasten or I'm going to increase the speed of the video because that is very similar so I just don't want to get you bored at this hard work by posting a lengthy video you may feel it hard so what I'm just doing this thing <laughs> friends so now I'm just going to complete this artwork hope you find it beautiful Friends, this is the completed picture. Hope you like it. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share with your friends who is interested in drawings. And if you are new to my channel, I love to have you subscribe right here and turn on the post notifications. Thank you so much for watching, friends. See you.